Good afternoon. It's September 2020 and we are in Arizona. We've just driven from the high desert to the Coconino Forest and made it to General Springs Cabin. Took one wrong turn, but luckily I had downloaded Gaia Maps or the app as I was um, as suggested. So we just got here. We've been driving for about eight hours. We're gonna do a three day backpack trip. Our first night's gonna be somewhere around here. And here's the first cabin, the General Springs cabin. So there's supposed to be water around here somewhere. We're gonna have to find that. Pretty cool, first hiking in the Arizona forests. So excited. I'm here with my friend, Rebecca. I think it's around the corner too, you're right. It's empty in here, very nicely built with windows. Starting our hike on day zero instead of day one. There was a couple people in the parking area sawing down tree trunks. And since we are two girls traveling alone, we decided to hike out a bit before we set up camp. The plan was to set up camp at the trailhead, but we gotta take care of each other. And if that means walking for a little bit and finding a place to camp, then that's what we're gonna do. So we're starting out on the Fred Hot Trail for the first part of the loop out of the General Sp Springs cabin area. Good morning. It's day one of the cabin loop. We just left camp around 8.30. Slept well. Excuse me, did not sleep well last night. Probably got maybe one to two hours of sleep. Anyways, we're on our way to Pincho Springs and Cabin. So far the trail's pretty easy to follow. This trail is also the AZT, which is the Arizona Trail that goes from one end of Arizona to the other. So there'll probably be pretty good signage for this first piece. Weather's nice. Probably in the 60s, I'm guessing. Anyway, here we go. So we probably haven't gone a mile yet and there's a little bit of water here. Not sure if it's drinkable, maybe if you filter it. So we're crossing a, a creek here, same creek where we saw that water just a bit ago. Not sure if this is drinkable with a filter or water tablets, anyway. We don't need it, just thought I'd mention it in case you were out here and you needed water. This is about a mile from the parking lot. Nice little meadow. OK, 
Okay, we've come to another creek crossing. There's a marker on that tree over there. So we're still going the right way. Okay, we've reached the intersection where the Arizona Trail goes left and the Fred Hawk continues this way. It's about three miles from the parking lot. Just FYI. So we'll continue. Okay, we came to a, a sign and a blockage. And we looked over here across the way and there is a sign over there. We're taking our first little break. We're in this nice little spot. There's a little bit of a breeze. We've done about 3.3 miles in about two hours. We saw some people on the trail, so we stopped to chit chat with them about water. So we'll be leaving here shortly. We're listening for elk. Sun's been up for a while and it's pretty warm. Not sure what the temperature is, but it's warm. Another road crossing. The markers are few and far between, but they're there. We passed a sign that we only have about two miles to Pincho Cabin. So we've done a little over five miles. trail. We just came down this trail here and the sign says the trail goes down the road and so does Gaia. So we'll take the road. So the road's closed. It's washed out as you can see there. So we're gonna have to go down and back up to the other side. Let's see how we get this done. Yikes. We gotta go over there. So we came down that. And this tree tried to make it through the pipe. Hence the reason we have a mess here. Pretty. So we crossed over that huge ditch in the road and walked up the road a little bit further and you'll be looking for the trail marker here on the right. It goes up the hill. So don't miss it. It's right before this second turn here. And right after that turn. Hope this helps. Okay, down there is the trail that we came up. And the trail comes in here. And 
and Joe Cabin. Working for it today. Made it to Pincho Cabin. Gonna take a shortcut through the creek. There's actually water here. We were supposed to stay here tonight, but we may do a few more miles so we don't have to do so many tomorrow. As I mentioned before, we reached Pincho Cabin. And I just wanted to show you while we were here where the Houston Brothers Trail is and the sign that tells you which way to go for the U-Bar Trail, which is the next trail that we'll be taking. So we're going here in front of the cabin two miles to the forest road and then over here is a sign-in sheet we signed in and then over here is the trail if you wanted to go to Pincho Springs if there was no water in the creek here you could go here 0.4 miles out there in the distance and then come back. But we found water in the creek, so the water looked pretty clean. We're gonna use that. Um, this, also, this Houston Brothers Trail also takes you to the Barbershop Trail, which we're gonna come in from another, from another way off of the U-Bar Trail. Anyways, just wanted to share all of that with you. Nice area to camp, but if we were to stay here, um, we would have a 13 plus mile day. And so we've decided since it's still early, I think it's only about two o'clock, we're gonna hike for another hour or two and find a camp spot. But yeah, there's plenty of water here in this creek and it's running. So we just filtered our water and now we're gonna head out. So here's the Pincho cabin up close. You can see the roof is falling apart. Here's some information. This Pincho cabin is located at what in the early days was the summer camp of the Houston Brothers ranch outfit. A small cabin was built about 150 feet south of the present cabin in 1919. And there is an outhouse out there in the distance that is not working. Looks like we've got some flat road here for a yep. bit. Okay, when you get here, you're gonna be making a right. Do not take 95, I think it's 95B, turn right. If I haven't mentioned it already, we're using Gaia. My first time using the app. I like it. Okay, so when you get up to this crossroads here, there is a Karen here and there's a big log there. Make sure you cross the road and make a left here. We missed it. We traveled up that road for a half mile and back for a total of one extra miles. Mile. We're just about ready to end our day. Okay, we just hit another forest road. We're on the U-Bar Trail. 
I haven't already mentioned that. And that sun is beating down. I was able to check the weather on my inReach and it said high of 83, low of 51 tonight. So it should be comfortable sleeping weather. Made it to Barbershop Canyon. There's water in here, but is it clean or dirty? Wow, there's a little pond over there. Trails over there. We found a nice little camp spot the bottom of this hill in this little I guess ravine canyon oh barbershop canyon anyway it's really nice quiet drying out some clothes over there sent the families a message to let them know we were in camp beating up our food Good day, we did 11 and a half miles with one mile off trail. Oops, what are you gonna do? Um, about seven something hours, it was a good day. <laughs>